Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to see how to animate the notification bell icon using Smart Animate in Figma. So for that first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rectangle option and hunt and hold the shift here and create a square. And then I'm going to increase its corner radius by let's say 120 or no, it is let me increase it so that we get more of the corner radius. Okay. So I have kept it as 175. You can keep it according to your need. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to the plugins option, which is there. And I'm going to run this plugin called as Ava icons by icon duck. And here in the search bar, I'm going to type as bell. Here I will select two icons, one in the activated state and one in the default state, right? I'm going to keep this activated state aside and bring this default state center align to this rectangle i'm going to change this color to red color as you can see right all the bells which are there in your apps or in your desktop most of the time they are all red in color right and after this what i'm going to i mean i'm going to zoom in a little bit then i'm going to create a circle okay let me take this much circle and also keep the same color which is there with the color picker and i'm going to sweep this arc by 90 degrees and increase its ratio by 60 percent and again sweep it back and i what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this circle inside the rectangle and send it back okay now you can see that it is behind right next what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a frame so that all these things come inside a frame okay now you can see inside this frame you have the bell icon you have the rectangle and also the ellipse, right? So this is the complete frame. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this frame and keep it over here. In this frame, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase its bell icon size. Let's say by a you know, little bit, uh, with the, whatever the normal um, size is there, right? I'm going to increase it a little bit. You can see here it is uh, one to two, two, four pixels, right? Because I have uh, zoomed in a lot, so that's why you can see that much in big number. Whenever you zoom out and do it, you'll get a minimum number. Next, I'm going to copy this one and paste it over here. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this bell icon and keep this one in between. Also, stain this color with the color picker. I want to keep the color consistent. And let's see what is the size over here. It is one, two, two, four pixels, right? I'm going to do the same over here, one, two, two, four, and bring this to the central aligned. Then the last thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to again duplicate this frame and keep it over here. And now I'll need to bring it back to this size. So what is it? It is 897, right? I'm going to keep it as 897 pixels and again bring it in the central line. Now, whatever you had to do in the design mode is complete. Now let's go to the prototype tab here. I'm going to select the first frame and bring it over here. Here I will select options such as while hovering. Okay. While hovering and navigate to the frame too. And here I will select as smart animate, right? Let the default options be ease out and with uh, 300 milliseconds. Now I will move from frame two to frame three. Here, what I'm going to do is it will be on click because whenever you click an icon, then only it will replicate and show you the smart animation, which is happening in your mobile screens on your laptop, right? So for that reason, I'm keeping the interaction as on click and I'm, it will navigate to the frame three and I've selected smart animate. Next, I'll select the frame three and I'll select the frame four. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll, I'm going to keep a after delay effect so that Whenever you click on a notification icon, it is going to interact for a few seconds and come back to its normal state, right? So for that reason, I have kept it as 300 milliseconds. So after that, now the prototyping is also done. Now let's move to see how this uh, smart animation has done, right? So let's move to this animation and you know, it will take a while to load. Let it load. Okay, I'm, I'm going to press Z over here so that it will fit to screen. And you can see whenever I hover, right, it is enlarging. See, whenever I'm bringing my cursor over here, it is getting bigger, right? So let, let me click on it. 
Yeah, now did you see the interaction? And here we missed a one part. What we did is, what I forgot is, again I'm going to go back to the design prototype mode here in the frame 3. I'll bring this circle, I'll enlarge the circle and keep it center aligned. I'm going to enlarge it again, right? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to decrease its opacity, right? I'm going to decrease its opacity. Now, if you see that, right? Now I'm going to save, it is going to change. I'm going to restart this uh, animation. It is now, while hovering, it is enlarging, right? Now if I do, uh, did you see that? Did you see that interaction? This is how you can smart animate the notification bell icon in Figma. Give it a try and if you have any queries, leave your query in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you and follow for more such content. Thank you.